we like to stop the dog no, You'll be there forever. So, okay, so three. No, is it four? Um, three. <laughs> Dave's just counting in there. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. So this is the fourth class that we'll have filmed. Uh, it doesn't seem possible, does it? Um, so I'm missing you all, um, and uh, but I'm not missing my yoga because I've been practicing every day, and I know you've been practicing because you've been doing some of my filmed classes. So thank you, everybody who's done a filmed class. Um, and yeah, yeah, feel free to skip through them, just do the relaxation, just do the warm up, however you want to do it. It's your practice. It's nice though, isn't it, sometimes to have something to watch and to go by. Um, okay, so today we're going to be working with our breath. Uh, we're going to be creating space in the body. I'm going to be stretching and breathing, which is something that we really need to do in these difficult times. Um, so remember, uh, as you know, if you're students of mine, um, and also if you're friends or you've been to a class, you know, yoga is totally non-competitive. So you're not comparing yourself to the week before, to anybody else, to how you felt yesterday when you were doing yoga or how you felt last week when you were doing yoga. It's just today. So how you feel today? So today we're going to be smiling, breathing and going slowly. Um, we'll hopefully do about an hour again. Uh, so it'll be a little bit shorter than our normal uh, class, our real life class. Um, but I'm going to give you a quote, uh, which I've used many times before. It's from Rodney Yee, uh, the poetry of the body, yoga, the poetry of the body. Um, and it's a lovely quote about breathing. And I just read it today and thought this is really apt for our times. So it says, the practice is simply this. Thank you, dog. What are you up to? I'll wait for you to come back. Cat wants to go out, <laughs> dog wants to go out. Hey ho, this is our lives in lockdown. We just wait for the dog to have a drink of water and then we'll wait for her to come back. So, remember when you're practicing at home, um, you don't need to watch me. You can sit and watch if you want to. You can just listen to me and just carry on with your own practice and adapt it however you want to adapt it. Obviously, I'm not watching you, so you can do whatever you like. You can sit on the sofa and watch it if you want to. Is she coming? I don't know. I'll just leave it. Okay, we'll leave it a jump. So, let's sit down. Okay, the quote from Rodney Yee. So, back to the quote. The practice is simply this. Keep coming back to your breath during the day. Just take a moment. This will give your mind a steadiness and your breath a gracefulness. There's so much to let go of, isn't there? Your nostalgia and your regrets, your fantasies and your fears. What you think you want instead of what's happening right now. Breathe. Okay, so I thought that was really apt for our current times. So I'm just going to start laying down in Shavasana. I'll bring you in with the bells. So if you'd like to lay down in Shavasana now, remember you can have your legs outstretched or your knees bent, eyes gently closed, palms away from the body up to the ceiling. If your legs are outstretched, have your feet flipping out. So just taking time now to centre yourself onto the floor, like I say, gently closing the eyes and just bringing the body into stillness and just becoming aware of the breath, just feeling the breath in the body. 
So the breath will come into the body and as you breathe in, your tummy will rise. And as you breathe out, your tummy falls. Come on then, Jess. Breathing in, your tummy rises. Come on, lay down. Come on, darling, down the bed. On your bed. Good girl. As you breathe in, your tummy rises. And as you breathe out, your tummy falls. And then last one, breathing in, tummy rises. And then breathing out. So remember, we're working with our breath today. So when you're in your postures, just be aware of your breath. Be aware if you're holding your breath. Keep breathing, breathing nice and deeply into the tummy all the way through the practice. Okay, that's lovely. So stretching your legs out now, if you've got them bent or your feet propping out to the side. So both legs stretched away, take a nice deep breath in, arms above you. Push through those fingertips, push through those toes. Really lovely, long, long stretch all the way through the body. Toes up to the ceiling. Heels pushed away. Keep breathing, keep stretching. And then breathing in and releasing those arms back down by your side. Lay down, Jess. Jessie, on your bed. On your bed. Right, right knee comes in, clasping around the knee. Really pulling that knee in nice and tight, feeling that stretch all the way up into the small of the back. So we're just loosening off all that tension and then clasping around the back of the thigh. Foot goes up to the ceiling. Rotate that foot three times one way. Just mobilising that ankle joint. And then three times the other way. Hopefully this dog will settle down. Breathe in and then breathing out, relaxing down. Same on the left hand side. Clasping that knee and really enjoying that stretch all the way back up into the low back. If you're anything like us, you've actually been doing more walking lately. Clasping around the back of the thigh, foot goes up towards the ceiling. So this is really good, stretching out, releasing any tension in the ankles and in the thighs. Breathing in and then breathing out, releasing that lift down. Both knees in, one at a time. Clasping around the knees and just releasing off any tension. So rolling side to side, forward and back, small circles. And when you're ready, rolling over to the right hand side if you've got normal or high blood pressure, to the left if you've got low, and then coming up to seated. Okay, that's lovely. So legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. So you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Cross the legs the opposite way. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. Carry on with the mobilisation sequence. So right hand down, left hand up, breathing in, and then breathing out over to the side. Just gazing forward on that first one. Breathing in centre, and then out. Working with the breath and the movement. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretching that side. Breathing in centre, and then down. Same on the first side, breathing in, looking up past the elbow, if you want to, breathing out over to the side, breathing in, and then down, and then dogs back, last one, breathing in, looking up to that elbow, breathing in, and then breathing out. Okay, crossing the legs the opposite way. That's a good girl, she's making a nest on the cushions that I've just turned a bit, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to do our twisting. We're going to use our hands in and jelly mudra for prayer position. So breathing in, arm goes up, breathing out, over to the right. So just to the side, breathe in, straighten up. And as you breathe out, just twist a little bit further around to the rear. Breathe in to the side and then breathe out, hands back into prayer. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, over to the side. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Twist round to the rear. Nice straight spine. Breathing in to the side, and then breathing out. Once more each side. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, and then breathing out. 
twisting round all the way. Breathing in to the side and then breathing out. Hands back into prayer. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and then breathing out, twisting round. Breathing into the side and then breathing out. Lovely, well done. Okay, cross the legs the opposite way. Okay, we're going to come forward and back. So, nice tall spine, shoulders back and down. Breathing in, breathing out, coming forwards. So just let the head follow through. Nice, gentle forward bend. Don't overstretch. Lovely, well done. Breathing into centre. And then fingers pointing forwards behind you, breathing out. So pushing that chest up, you can look up to the ceiling or keep the gaze forward, but don't let that head drop too far. Filling that chest, keep breathing like that. And then breathing into centre. Breathing out, coming forwards. Really lovely forward bend, stretching the spine, releasing tension in the head. Breathing into centre. And then fingers pointing forwards at the side of you, breathing out, filling that chest with prana, looking up to the ceiling. And then breathing out, coming back to centre. Okay, lovely. Onto our hands and knees. So we're doing exactly the same as we do in class at the beginning. Lovely mobilisation sequence just to get ourselves nice and loose. You can do this first thing in the morning, last thing at night, any time during the day. Okay, so if you've got any problems with the wrists, my wrists are getting a bit sore from doing a lot of yoga, so you can come up onto the fist if you want to. Um, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Okay, make sure the feet aren't together or too far apart, so they're in line with the knees. Breathing in, dip the back, look forward into the cow and then breathing out, pulling that tummy out all the way to the ceiling, pushing down with the hands, running, rolling the back up on the out breath, breathing in, dip the back, look forward and then breathing out, pushing up, pulling that navel up towards the spine, up towards the ceiling, pushing down on the hands, head down and then breathing in, back to neutral. Okay, lovely. So we're just going to do a little extra stretch here. So we're going to do an alternate arm and leg stretch. So breathing in, right hand forward, left hand, left leg points away. And the hips so far I have to come a bit closer, a bit further away, sorry. So right hand, left leg, looking forwards, holding that stretch. Keep breathing. And then breathing out, coming down. Breathing in, left arm, right leg. Pointing that toe away, let's look at you lovely Steve, well done. Keep breathing while you're there, and then coming down. One more each side, breathe in, right hand up, left leg points away, nice straight line across the body. Okay, and then coming down, breathing in, left arm, right leg, point that toe away, looking forwards, nice and straight, and then coming down. Okay, lovely three part downward facing dog. So this is going to be really good. Those of you who have been doing lots of walking, stretching out that Achilles heel and the back of the calf and the back of the thigh. So breathing in, toes under, breathing out. So bottom up nice and high, onto your toes for the first one. Knees nice and bent and push through those arms. Keep those think tips active if you can. Release the head between the upper arms and breathe. Lovely, keep breathing. And then coming down nice and slow onto the knees. Sit back, bottom towards your heels, hands forward, head down to extend the child's pose. Just relax everything, releasing those shoulders. Really enjoying that stretch. Breathing in, coming up to tabletop. 
Okay, this time we're going to walk the heels down one at a time. So breathing in, toes under, breathing out. So bottom up nice and high and then heels come down one at a time. Now we'll really feel this if we've been doing lots of walking. So stretch out that calf. more and then come down knees down hands forward head down bottom towards your heel into extended child's pose just releasing all the tension and then last one coming up up to table top we're going to go up into our full down dog so remember lovely position with the hands knees and the feet okay toes under breathing in breathing out so bottom up nice and high so onto those heels just um toes rather sorry to start off with and then just let the heels come down towards the floor keep that bend in the knee if you want to pushing back into that lovely inverted v shape Keep pushing that tailbone back, strengthen the arms, releasing the head, lovely. Coming down nice and slow, coming into your full child's pose if you want to. So head down, hands, thumbs up behind, by, down by your feet, releasing those shoulders. You can do this with knees further apart if you want to, come into a kind of wide stance with a child's pose if you want to. Some people don't like the feeling of being folded over, completely folded over. Okay, coming up, back to tabletop. We're going to come up to standing nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. So toes under, breathing in. Breathing out, bottom up nice and high. Walk those toes towards your fingertips and then stay there in ragdoll for a second or two if you can. Keep those knees nice and bent. Everything flowing down into the floor and then really slowly, using the muscles in the tummy, come up nice and slow, shoulders and then head. Lovely, well done, fantastic Steve, well done. Okay, right, so we're going to move on to our sequences. So I'm not going to do Salute to the Sun today. Um, you all know Salute to the Sun, so you can work on that modified one that you want to. I'm just going to do the Earth sequence. So we're recording this in the evening, but whatever time of day you want to feel grounded, you want to bring your breath down, you want to release any anxiety, then the Earth sequence is the one for you. So if you face that way, Steve middle of your mat, okay. So toes pointing forward, shoulders back and down, nice Tadasana. Okay, right, breathing in. Making your triangle above you, looking through that triangle and then breathing out, coming down. Breathing in, clasp the fingers, bring the energy up towards the front and then breathing out, pushing down, breathing in. Look up to the hands if you want to, and then breathing out. So that's one. Everything's done in threes. Breathing in, bring the energy up, breathing out, push it down. Breathing in, looking up, breathing out. Really feel that lovely energy. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, looking up. And then as you breathe out, stepping out to the right. Okay, breathing in. Nice gentle squat, squat. So you just come down as far as you want to. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Breathe in. So keep your back up a bit straighter, Steve. Don't come down. You're coming down more into a squat with your knees rather than bending forward. So breathing in. Try it one time. So just bend your knees down, not your body. That's it, that's better. Breathing in. And then turning to the right. Okay, 
breathing in, bring the energy up, breathing out, push it forward, breathing in all the way to the top, and then breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Last one, breathing in, out, in, and then all the way around to the other side, and then breathe out, arms down, lovely, well done. Breathe in, breathing out, pushing forwards, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, in, out. One more, breathe in, out, breathe in, all the way down to the front, and then out, right, this time is a forward bend, so breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, when you come up from there, just bend the knees slightly. Protect the lower back and out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Bring that foot to match the other one. All arms all the way round, hands into prayer. And Jali Mudra. And if you're happy to, gently close the eyes. Just let the breath settle. You might sway slightly, but that's fine. If you feel really unsteady, then have the feet hip width apart. If you don't want to close your eyes, just look down to the floor. Just releasing the breath, releasing any tension. Okay, lovely, opening the eyes. So that sequence is really lovely to ground you, especially in the evenings, just before you go to bed. So you don't want to do it just before you go to bed, maybe about an hour before you go to bed. So, okay, we're gonna move on with our practice. So I'm gonna work on warriors two, one, and then three. Okay, so into the middle of our mats. So you'll be, I sit lovely in game two. Okay, so nice to dust in a position, first of all. Feet pointing forwards. Nice position with the hips. Up. Nice position with the shoulders, not one up, one down. Shoulders back and down, breathing in, arms up to the side. And then breathing out. Okay, so nice in breath, nice wide stance. Okay, both feet turned to the right. Come back this way slightly so you can sit in lovely. Okay, looking over that right hand. So nice, strong arms, strong legs. Just looking there at the video to see that my arms are nice and straight. Okay, make sure this hand isn't coming forward this way, but so it's right there. Breathing in, breathing out, bending that right knee. Okay, so make sure that knee doesn't come too far over the toes or it doesn't come in. So knee back. Nice straight arms, pulling the tummy up, looking over that front hand. Deep breathing. Lovely Steve, well done. I'm just going to come over and move that arm back. That's lovely, well done. Bit mean when you've only got one student to adjust. <laughs> breathing in, coming up. And then breathing out. Okay, same on the other side. Both feet to the left this time. Arms nice and straight all the way across the body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bending that front knee. So this is a balance as well as strength building. Keep that left arm, sorry, the right arm back. Looking over that front arm. Pulling that tummy in and up. Keep breathing, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, sorry, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Keep breathing. So we're going to adjust that arm again. So that arm comes back there, that's better, that's lovely. Okay, breathing in, coming up. And then breathing out, arms down. Lovely, well done. So come to the top of your mat. to come into warrior one now so we'll both do it on the same leg so we're going to set that left foot back 
that's fine. So make sure bring that foot out towards that edge a bit more, that's better. So you don't want it behind like you're doing worrying on it to the side. Okay, so straight legs to start off with, gazing forwards, hips turned, that's it, perfect. Okay, so hips facing forward, angled over that front leg, breathe in, arms up, breathe out, bend that front leg. So you might need to widen your stance slightly, get that knee bent, make sure that knee doesn't come over the toes again. So arms up nice and straight, straight back leg, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, you can release those shoulders down a little bit if you want to, filling the chest with breath here. Really enjoying that. Warrior one, very adjustment. That's lovely, well done. Perfect. Okay, Let's see if you can see it in the video. That's lovely, breathe in, come up and then relax the arms down. I'm going to do it this way so you can see. So we did the left leg back, this time we're going to do the right leg back. So we're going to have a different perspective so you'll be able to see. Okay, breathing in. Arms come up, breathing out, bending that front knee. Okay, so gazing forward, back leg straight, breathing in. And then breathing out, just relaxing those arms down a little bit. Back leg straight, front leg bent, gazing forward. Very progressive one. Warrior one. Strength building, balance. Breathing in, coming up. And then breathing out, coming down. Well done. Okay, so we're going to attempt to do a little bit of warrior three. So, um, you can't really hang on to anything, can we, Steve? It's a bit dangerous no, in here. I can do it almost there, but okay, well, we'll try it anyway. So, back to the top of the mat. Okay, left foot back. Okay, arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, coming down into your warrior one to start off with. So we're going to hinge forward. So you're going to come onto the toe of the back foot. You're going to lift that leg up and you're going to come forwards. That's what you're up to. Lovely. Well done, Steve. Fantastic. Keep breathing and then come down. So if you're in your house and you've got a nice bit of wall to hold on to, you can do it against the wall. If not, you can um, try and balance, but be careful of all your furniture and everything. So right leg back, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, this time we're going to come onto the toes of the right foot. And then we're going to hinge forward, balancing on the left. Pushing forwards, back leg going up, breathing and then coming down. Lovely, well done. Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, we're gonna go into Trikonasana, the triangle. So lovely side stretch. So, in your mat, breathing in. Nice wide start. Okay, both feet turn slightly to the right. This time we're gonna go over, over and then down. We're going to have a hand on the hip when we come down. So looking over that right hand, breathing in, breathing out. So pushing over and then coming down. Hand on the hip, get the head back, shoulder back in line. And then when you're ready, that top arm goes up towards the ceiling. Okay, I don't want you to be holding on the knee. So you could be up here. Get my balance. Or you could be further down. Lovely. Keep breathing. If you're balanced, look up to that thumb. If not, just gaze forward. Tripping out another triangle. Okay, coming up from the side, breathing in and then breathing out. Okay, stay on the other side. Okay, nice breath. Breathing in, breathing out. 
over we go all the way down hand on to hip back head back in line that top arm goes up looking up to the thumb Don't come down too if you come down too far the shoulder will be coming down we don't really want that so it's better if you're up here that keeps you in line and then coming up and then breathing out perfect bend those knees okay heel toe the feet lovely okay i'm just going to check what we're on okay so we're going to come down oh no we're going to go do pass that and us and a single leg forward bend so coming from the side again as if we're doing that warrior one so coming to the top of the mat again okay so stepping back with the left okay this time we're going to do a forward bend but we're going to come over that front leg so breathing in and turn the palms breathing out okay so here you can either hold on the shin don't hold the knee again you could come up holding on the thigh wherever you're comfortable and then just breathe in straighten the back look forward and then breathe out let everything flow forward lovely forward bend over to the side single leg forward bend pass button asana both legs straight lovely well done steve breathe in from the side okay okay step that left foot back up right leg back this time okay. as if we're doing warrior one breathing in and then turn the palms breathing out coming forward over the side onto that leg if you've got um locks either side of your foot you can do that if you want to or if you come all the way down to the floor then that's fine or just holding on the gym nice and stable and strong keep breathing don't hold your breath and then just running the hand up the leg coming up to the top okay give yourself a little shake lovely so we're going to come down to the floor now so we're going to come down by Uttanasana. So, breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, swan dive the arms all the way down. Okay, so when you get to the floor, bend the knees slightly and just hang over into that rag doll. So you can have your knees bent enough, I'll come to the side to show you, that you can have your ribs onto your thighs. Let the head hang loose, try not to have any tension in the head. Let everything fall down into the floor. And then to come down from here, keep those knees nice and bent, hands down. Knees down. Feet to the side. And then come forward. Okay, so we're going to be working on do the tissue actually. Not any other. Okay. Can you get tissue? As you'll know, if you come to my class, it's whenever I start doing forward bending, I always have to right my nose everything starts to move which is good okay so i'm going to be doing um three pelopith and the bridge and we're going to be using our arms so i think i'll come that way be best okay so we're going to come down knees bent body flat arms at the side palms facing down so feet flat knees bent 
palms facing down each side of the bottom. And just let the breath settle in this new position. Okay, so first of all we're going to do a pelvic tilt. So we're just literally going to push this middle part of the back down to the floor, tilting the pelvis up. So pushing down on the hands, breathing in. Breathing out, so push that middle part of the back down and then tilt the pelvis up. So you'll be tensing the thighs, tensing everything here, pulling up the pelvic floor, tensing the buttock muscles and just stop before you lift the back off completely. Keep breathing, holding that there, keep breathing. And then nice deep breath in and then breathing. So you're giving your lower back here a really lovely massage. Really lovely back pain as well. So breathing in, breathing out. Pushing that middle part of the back down, tilting that pelvis up, tightening the tummy muscles, pulling in the pelvic floor, tightening the thighs. Lovely, okay, keep breathing, but stay there, we're nice and tense. And then breathing in, breathing out. So you're going to push that bottom up. So you're lifting the hips up. So you should have a nice ski slope position from knees to the hips down to the shoulders. Hands, palms down by your side. Just gazing up to the ceiling. Keep breathing, keep everything tense. Breathing in and then breathing out, coming down one vertebrae at a time, really slowly, all the way down. And then when you're fully down, bring the knees in one at a time. And just release up any tension. Small circles, couple circles one way and the other. Okay, so now we've got the feeling. The idea of do we pad a So what we're going to do is going to work with the arms. So you can close your eyes, which might help you focus, or just gazing up to the ceiling. Okay, so breathing in, lifting the pelvis up, bringing the right arm up all the way above you. So your palm is facing up, And then breathing out, just release the back down and leave the right arm up there behind you. Okay, next one, breathing in. This time the left arm goes back. So both arms are behind you, body's up. And then breathing out, release the back down and leave the arms up. If this is too strong on the shoulders for you, then obviously just do it with the arm, without the arms. Okay, breathing in, raising those hips up into your Dwipadapitam bridge, and then breathing out, bringing that right hand down. Nice and slow. And then breathing in, Raising the hips up and then breathing the left down. So you'll be back to the start. Well done. Bring those knees in one at a time and just releasing off the tension again. So that's lovely. I'm really enjoying that release. Okay, we're going to do one more. This time we're not going to use the arms above and behind us. We're going to clasp the hands behind us, underneath the body. So, breathing in. Nice deep breath in. Breathing out. Bottom goes up. And then hands clasped. You can come up onto those shoulder blades. If you want. And pushing up to your full extent. Pressing down on the feet. Try and keep those knees in a straight line. Gazing up to the ceiling, keeping breathing. And then when you're ready, releasing the hands, shuffling the shoulders down, calming down nice and slow. 
really slowly. Back to the floor, knees in one at a time. And then rolling over to the right hand side if you've got normal or high blood pressure. To the left if you've got low. Coming up nice and slow. Coming round and seated. Okay. So we're going to do um, Sage's pose. So, I'm just going to do a gentle twist. So, moving the bottom cheeks away, coming onto your hip bones, the bottom bones rather than the sitting bones. So, we're going to have the right leg outstretched, the left is going to come over. Okay. So, the same leg that's outstretched, arm comes out to the side, so that's the right arm. Breathing in and then breathing out. We're just going to hold that knee. Okay, other hand behind, look forwards, and then twisting round to the rear. So your right leg is outstretched, your left hand is behind you. Stay there, keep breathing, and then breathe into the and then release. Okay, so left leg outstretched, right leg over. Left arm out to the side, breathing in, breathing out. I'm just going to hold this time. So other hand behind, breathing in, nice and tall, and then as you breathe out, twisting round. Now that front foot, try and keep that foot up to the ceiling. Keep breathing in your twist. Keep that back straightening up and twisting. And then breathing in centre and then releasing. Okay, lovely, well done. Okay, so if you've got a strap, you can maybe use your strap now if you want to. On the strap. We're going to do the cobbler's pose. So, get in, knees up to the side, feet touching. Okay, so I'll bring those heels in as close as you can. And in order to help us do that and keep the shoulders back and down, we can use a strap. So. One hand on each strap, so shoulders are nice, feet back and down. So I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see on the side. So rather than having your shoulders up like this, I've got the shoulders back and down. Okay, legs out to the side, just gazing forward. And breathing, just letting the breath come back to settle again. Okay, so this cobbler's pose, so I'm going to move into butterfly pose. So I'm going to bring the knees up on the in-breath and then down on the out-breath. Come back to that front. Okay, breathing in, raising and then breathing out. So Steve, I want you to not bring your shoulders up. So when you raise your knees, you have a tendency to bring your shoulders up as well. I just want your knees to come up. So breathing in, shoulders back and down, breathing out. That's better. Breathing in, breathing out. And then one more, nice in breath. Well done, and then breathing out. That's lovely, well done. So releasing the strap, clasping round the toes. So, clasping the fingers together and placing these around the feet. So, if this is uncomfortable for you, then just keep holding the strap. If you can, sitting up as tall as you can. And then when you breathe out, your elbows are going to come forward over the shins and then the head's going down towards the top.
So let's do deep breaths in this position. This is good. Breathing in, filling up. Okay, lovely. And then I'm just going to help the knees up, straighten the legs, and then give ourselves a little bit of a shake and a bit of a massage. And massage the outside of the legs, massage the legs. Lovely, well done. So we're just going to sit up and do um, nearly time for relaxation. So we're just going to sit up. Nice and tall. Okay, so feet up towards the ceiling. So I bet you if you'll be able to sit this one. Okay, so again, try and sit on those sit bones. Try and have those toes straight up, shoulders back and down. So I don't want you to be sitting down like this. Try and be as straight as you can. Hands at the side, fingers pointing forward. Gazing forward. Dandasana staff pose. Keep those shoulders back and down. Lovely. Feet pointing up to the ceiling. Not out to the side, straight up. That's good. And then release. Okay, lovely. So we're going to move into our downward facing dog. Um, so we're going to come into a nice position. I'll do it this way instead this time, just to change things up a bit. So remember, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So and make sure that the hands are nice and splayed. So I want the fingers splayed and some activity in the fingers. So, lovely firm grip on the floor, toes under, breathing in, breathing out. So bottom up nice and high. So come up onto those toes first of all, and then push that tailbone back, releasing the head between the top of the arms. And then just let those heels fall down where they want to. Slight bend in the knee. Lovely inverted V shape. So keep those fingers active. Keep them pushing into the floor. I'm going to come round and give you a little helping hand. Just top of the back. If you've got a partner who can help push that back. Push that tailbone back. Lovely, well done. Keep breathing. Okay, keeping breathing. And coming down nice and slowly onto the knees. And then to come into full child's pose, if you want to, you can put something. Uh, underneath your bottom onto your heels It'll help you come all the way down if you want to thumbs up or if you've got cushions handy on the sofa you can put a cushion on your head as well really releasing any tension So relaxing completely in your child's pose. Feeling your breath. Releasing your shoulders. Okay, when you're ready, coming up nice and slowly. Okay, so we're going to come into relaxation. When we're in relaxation, we're going to do a little bit of breath work, but we're going to move into relaxation first of all. So I'm going to turn the pads off. Okay, 
legs, so palms up to the ceiling if you can, that's lovely. So just working with the breath first of all. We're going to do the complete breath and we're going to do it three times. So the complete breath, we breathe into the tummy, up to the chest, up to the collarbone, out from the collarbone, out from the chest, out from the tummy. So I'll talk you through, talk you through the first one and then I'll leave you to do two more on your own. So breathing into the tummy. Chest, collarbone, out from the collarbone, out from the chest, out from the tummy. Two more in your own time. letting the practice go. Just going to talk through the different parts of the body first of all. And then because we've had a full moon, we're going to do a gentle full moon meditation. Okay, so first of all, focusing on your toes. Balls of the feet, soles of the feet, and the heel. Both feet, the right foot and the left foot, completely relaxed. Coming up to the ankles, the calves, the knees and the thighs. Both legs, the right leg and the left leg, completely relaxed. Coming up to the hips, the hips are sinking into the floor. The small of the back is releasing. The middle of the back and the upper. And coming round to the front, to the abdomen, the diaphragm. Coming up to the ribs, the intercostal muscles, the lungs and all the internal organs. The whole of the centre of the body. Completely relaxed. Moving across now to the hands. Fingers are gently curled, palms up to the ceiling. Both hands, the right hand and the left hand, completely relaxed. The wrists are soft, the forearms, the elbows and the upper arms. Both arms, the right arm and the left arm, completely relaxed. Moving up. To the throat you can swallow once if you want to to release the throat and then round to the neck and then across the shoulders the shoulder blades and all the muscles that hold so much tension will run across the top of the shoulders and up into the neck the head is supported so everything's completely relaxed. Coming up to the head. The scalp is smooth, the forehead has no frown lines. The eyes are gently closed and the eyelids are completely relaxed. The cheeks are smooth, the tongue is loose in the mouth. The jaw is loose. Just focusing on the chin. And your ears and your nose. So the whole of the body now is completely relaxed. Just allowing yourself this time to completely let go. And I'd like you to imagine that 
your lying or standing or sitting, bathing directly in the light of the full moon. Just imagine the bright, brilliant light hitting your body. The cool, crisp evening air coming in and out of your lungs. And as you breathe and as you bathe in the moonlight, you become more and more relaxed, supported by the nurturing feminine energy of the moon. So just imagine raising your face to look directly at the moon, feeling her cool, clear energy bathing you your body tingling with this energy going into each and every cell. Take your awareness now to the top of your head to where the energy centre is called your crown chakra. Imagine there's a pure white lotus bud there. Rotate this beautiful white lotus bud slowly anti-clockwise until the petals are open wide and flat and your crown chakra is now open. Feeling the feminine energies of the moon flooding into your whole being via your open crown chakra. Now taking your awareness to about 15 centimetres above your crown chakra to an energy centre called the Soul Star Chakra, where you connect strongly to the higher realms of light and love. And imagine here to another pure white lotus bud. Rotate this slowly anti-clockwise to open your Soul Star. Feel your energy field expanding. And then bringing your awareness now to the soles of your feet and imagine energetic roots developing from them and connecting to your earth star chakra about 15 centimetres below your feet. Imagine these roots going deeper and deeper and grounding you into the earth. This strong connection to the Earth Star Chakra allows you to anchor into Mother Earth. You may even like to visualise another downward pointing lotus bud that you can rotate to open, connecting that energy centre deeper and deeper into the Earth. Continue to breathe in the pure white light energy of the full moon. Drinking more moonbeams in. Getting a sense of now of every cell in your body being cleansed and purified. Imagining a white light filling your body. Feeling and finding that you're now effortlessly breathing. And just direct that breath now to your heart chakra. Connecting to the heart. Breathing through the heart. Sensing your heart opening. Feeling the heart is being healed. Seeing or getting a sense of positive energetic power. Ah. 
come back to the light of the moon. Once more feel your bathing in the beautiful white light of the full moon. You just start now to focus back on the body now. Focus back on the weight of the body on the floor, feeling the points of contact of the body on the floor, and feeling that sense of peace and relaxation. And know that you've created this all yourself. You can return to this place of peace whenever you need to. And starting to deepen the breath as you become more and more aware of the body in the room. And deepening the breath and starting to bring the breath back into the tummy. The tummy rising when you breathe in and falling when you breathe out. So deepening the breath and then beginning to move the hands and the fingers. Just starting to stretch. Tensing the toes. Stretching the fingers, making a fist with the hands. Then taking a nice deep breath in, bringing the arms above you, pushing through the fingertips, through the toes, lovely stretch like you did at the beginning of the class. And then toes up to the ceiling, through the fingertips, carrying on that stretch and then breathing in and bringing the arms back down by your side. Okay, bringing your knees in one at a time. And just hugging your knees in, giving yourself a big hug. Rolling from side to side, gently releasing any tension in the lower back. When you're ready, rolling over to the right hand side if you've got normal or high blood pressure. To the left if you've got low. Coming up to seated. We're going to finish with three on, so we can have our thumb and finger together in Chin Mudra, upper three fingers pointing away. So if we have our palms up and open, then we're sending out the energy and the love all around the world. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. We'll be connecting with our arms, feeling that sense of connection with everybody around the world. Okay, breathing in. Breathing in. Enjoyed the class and I hope you will stay safe. Thank you everybody.